Alright, morning team. Yeah, morning shot mission um, on a Sunday. Gonna head up and uh, stretch the legs and get the binos going and hopefully uh, see what's happening up in the hills. So this is my first outing for the raw. So yeah, not expecting a hell of a lot, but you never know. It's one of those things, eh? So let's get out there, man, and give it a nudge. Got to head out to Ashes and uh, catch up with uh, Gav and TJ. Parted with the boys, uh, they shot up the hill to their blinds. They're about oh, five, six hundred meters away, so I settled into uh, my blind, uh, which is just here. And I've got stags roaring over there already, so uh, oh, hopefully it'll be perfect to shoot from here. But last year I shot one off a face down over there, about 485. But the angle looks like hearing the stags are just down in here so or could be up over there as well so it's about um, 620 over there way over there so I'll be to get plonk my ass down and do some glassing see what we come up with and get up to some animals sure. Her. looks like just a young girl all by herself maybe just got kicked off the kicked off the hind yeah that's sitting at about 600 meters so it's a fair way away and it's only a little yearling hind so not even worth considering not for all the way over there anyway it's the first time I've had this stuff man it's real nice Why not? Spotted another one just down there. Could be coming back to the freezer. So let's just, and that's where we shot from. So, yeah, I hadn't intended on shooting a high, but I had my daughter's 21st last weekend, and it stripped me out of venison. So I thought at only 325 meters nice uh, looking yearling I'd take the shot and yeah tipped at 20 minus 22 degree angle so um, not too bad calculation not the best of rest man this is horrible um, just saw her jump up in there but it um, looks like um, I checked in the, the cannon and um, see what it came out like He, uh, well, I think about a strategy to get down there. Um, just sort of like a, take the opportunity to have a little shout out for um, a couple of YouTube subscribers, uh, young fellas. Uh, guys, um, heads up to um, Trent Harvey's kids. 
uh, Zane who's three and Jaden who's nine actually met your dad in the supermarket here in Palmerston North um, over from um, Oz obviously with um, his dad and his uncle for a shot unfortunately the weather shit it out on him so uh, um, he's probably home by now so another one was um, another sort of work colleague or um, a guy that works for my company Downer um, a guy uh, Robin Croker his sons uh, Finn, Luke and Darcy what's up boys yeah so uh, if I was going to do anything I'd probably dedicate that uh, that kill there meat kill to um, you five boys from Australia so uh, hey thanks for um, subscribing um, uh, you, both your dad said the boys watched the videos hard out so, so that's just a little shout out to you boys in Australia cheers boys Hey, this is the first time I've um, used this thing here, this, um, this bubble level. Um, yeah, I made sure that, that that was square up this time when I went for my shot. So um, that's something I've been um, sort of thinking about for a while. Long range precision shooters talk about uh, the cant, anti-cant bubble, so um, put that in there. I mean, 325 metres is not a long shot uh, for a long range shooter, but um, good practice though, eh? So. Anyway, think seriously about getting down there and get that bloody deer. Right, you know what time it is. Recovery time. My plan, I mean that's where I shot her down there. From there. Um, shot her down there. My plan is to walk back up the track, up there, go down that ridge, all the way down there, all the way, all the way. Yeah, might as well be right down the bloody gully, eh? Fuck. Anyway. Shoot them long, recover them long. Well, it's not that long. Fuck, I can hear shit. You know, let me just... Just heard her roar up the track. Sounded suspiciously human-like. So I just yelled out. I just didn't want to be like the bro last year. Or Danny and get shot on the fucking track. So, the guys just responded, so I might wait here for him. Um, I'm going to do recovery. I still don't want to get fucking shot over the other side of the hill recovering my deer. Uh, wearing black's always good. Okay. Well, at least it's a black stack. But I'll wait here for this fellow to turn up. Right. Find this ridge to go off. Well, well, well. Look what I found. A track. A well cut track, too. And it's not our track. I hope it takes me to the right spot. I'm getting a good vibe. How beautiful is that? Man? This picture stuff, eh? Absolutely awesome. We're so spoiled here in our country. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Now that's a mega aggressive angle. Up there with the lollipop trees. I hope you can see it with the sun. But look at that. Jesus Christ. That's some major spray damage. And they're not making the 2.8 Amex anymore. Bugger. Right. Here we go. Yeah. At the size of a fellow. Gonna be deadly eating though, deadly. Man, look at that for an exit hole. Far oh, out. That's massive. And over there. And out there. Ah, gee. I wonder if she didn't stand a chance. Right and thick. Well, that's it. All the meat uh, in the pack. Shoulders are absolutely destroyed thanks to the 208. Uh, I've got a couple of little, nice little back legs. A couple of little, mm, little back stakes in there uh, to take back up. So she'll be good. Uh, ooh, hour grind up. 45 minutes to grind up to the top. So a fair way down. So let's get grinding. That was only running around two hours ago. Now it's gonna get gobbled by the brothers. Oh, you know that fella. I'll check in my demons over there. <laughs> 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 it only takes one to know one. Don't turn your back on that fella, he'll have you. <laughs> um, Kev's gonna stay in here for a couple of nights, so me and TJ are gonna push out tonight and all this afternoon and head home so but looking for 
forward to uh, another mission on Easter weekend, which is coming up. So, see you back up the track. Oh, so that's me and the bro, TJ. Uh, I'm gonna walk out now. We only come in for a morning shot. Uh, walking with the bro, Kev uh, Boo and um, so I got a venison in my pack, humping out, and. Uh, We'll just cruise back to the car, mosey on home, go to work tomorrow. So, not a bad trip. Uh, no stags. One stag seen, I think the boy seen one good one, but he was mo tacking. And um, I just saw two hinds of which I couldn't control myself and had to shoot one of them. So, so me and the bow, um, back up on my shooting blind, bumped into these two characters. Uh, oh, good fellas. Um, they told us that they put a sign up, a warning sign, not one in the car, but one up on the um, on a tree, and this is it here. But anyway, I mean that's a that's a pretty mean, pretty mean to put something up because everybody knows. Um, for those guys that we met, uh, sorry we didn't get your names, but uh, nice meeting you guys. Uh, yeah, cool for the sign, and uh, uh, there's your shot there. <laughs> <laughs> We might even just see them down in the car park. All right, cheers. That's us. Yeah. Wet boots on now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think cool for that little burn down the hill, so. out met some interesting hunting dudes up in the in the hills so yeah not a bad Sunday mish and it's what up past quarter to quarter to four that's not too bad since I oh, got up at two o'clock so hope you enjoyed that mission we'll catch you on the next time cheers